Okay, this game is technically called Racing Evolutioni, but that sounds stupid, so I'm going to call it Racing Evolution. And if you've never heard of Racing Evolution, it's an original Xbox game that's also known in the United States as Apex. It's the same game with a different name, but should never be confused with R Racing Evolution from Namco. However, stupid naming conventions aside, let's have a look why I think Racing Evolution is an old game that still looks good. So the main reason that Racing Evolution was such a big deal when it came out was that it gave you the opportunity to run your own racing team, which was something that hadn't really been done before in console racing games. You had complete control over the manufacture and R&D of your own racing cars. You could build your own machines. You could sell cars in showrooms to create money for the team so you could pipe back into what you did out on the track, increasing your your team's ability to compete at the top level. So you had all these different people, you had all these different mechanics and scientists in your garage. And yeah, you could really kind of get in and tinker with the, uh, the way the cars looked and the way they handled. This series isn't really interested in that though. What we're interested in is how the game looks. And as you can see, it looks flipping brilliant. Published by Atari in 2003, exclusively on the Microsoft Xbox, the game was developed by Milestone, who are actually more famous for their WRC Rally games on the PS3 and the Xbox 360, and later Sebastian Loeb Rally on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Racing Evolution features tracks set in a multitude of fictional cities, with influences taken from Asia, the Americas and Europe, but also features dedicated racing circuits, speedways and mountain courses. For the most part, these tracks are beautifully realised with some stunning trackside details. Uh, the amount of attention that's been lavished is outstanding, with city-based courses in particular featuring overpasses full of moving traffic, aircraft coming into land at airports, helicopters and hot air balloons all filling the sky. There are advertising hoardings with FMV adverts running on them, camera flashes from the crowds, Ambulances driving around the trackside roads as if on patrol should a crash happen. It's if you're racing through a living, breathing world. The game world also features some really great visual effects. Uh, you've got things like reflective tarmac, some lovely bloom lighting in the place of the more standard lens flare of the era, and some really nice, if a little fake, reflection mapping on the vehicles. It's true that Gran Turismo 3 had all these effects on the PlayStation 2, but Polyphony Digital were arguably a more capable team than Milestone, and were developing a flagship game as a first party developer. Racing Evolution on the other hand, almost came out of nowhere and wild critics of the day with its visuals. Vehicle models, while not as accurate as those in the previously mentioned Gran Turismo 3, are still quite well done and have the added bonus of featuring some quite decent damage effects. And of course with the career mode you can actually create your own fantasy cars, so the possibilities, while not completely endless, are numerous. Uh, just so you know, all the footage that you're seeing here was recorded from an actual Xbox using an Elgato game capture and the footage isn't HD as I only have composite cables to hook it up. Obviously I'm not Digital Foundry so I'm not going to start banging on about frame rates and the really technical stuff simply because I'm not that knowledgeable, I don't mind admitting that. However, I just think this is an old game that still looks good and deserved a bit of a mention. So yeah, um, I don't know if you agree, disagree, you can let me know in the comments. For now though, I will leave you with some cool footage from the game's fantastic replay mode and as ever, Thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it, and thanks for all your comments, etc. See you on the next one.